what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? A woman from North Carolina went on TikTok to share a fascinating story of hooking up with an ex. The woman who goes by the knee says her ex took her to the casino. They went to the club. And then they went to the hotel and made passionate love. The next day, he takes her to the mall robs her and leaves her stranded. But wait, there's more. Denise says she came up on a package and she hollered at him, at the, at the ex, to help her get rid of the package. And he promised her that he'd help her get rid of the package and that they would, you know, get down. You know, he was going to break off a little something. He's going to show a good time. So he showed her a good time. And then when they got to the mall, they were supposed to make the transaction the next day at the mall. They got to the mall and dude got the drugs and vanished. She said she got robbed. Dude got wind of the TikTok video and made a video of his own saying, hey, what I did shouldn't be considered robbery because I finessed her. Fam, is that robbery or finesse? The robber or finesse? Here's the elephant in the room. Why, on God's green earth, would anyone get on social media and tell the world that they came up on a package and then admit to being robbed of the package? Now, here's a question. Did she find the package walking down the street? Or did she beat somebody for that package? Either way, her life could be on the line. And I'm sure that the authorities might want to have a conversation with her also. Here's a person who just admitted to transporting drugs across state lines. I'm not exactly sure what the law is, but I'm almost certain that that is a federal crime. Fair, what are we going to do? What, what, what are we going to do about these people? Something in your mind should tell you why you're typing it. Like, even if you're mad, you know, and then uh, I was going to give, he was going to help me get rid of the drugs, and then he took the drugs, and, and then Wait a minute, before I hit the send button, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. What am I doing? What the hell am I doing? I can't do this. Something should kick in and say, I should not, I should not do this. I should not send this. I should not post this. And even after she posted it, let's say she, she lost her mind for a minute. I'm sure somebody jumped on there and said something crazy. Say, girl, you tripping. Somebody, some family member probably reached out to her, but she's one of them types that don't listen to family. You know, you know those types that just think family always out to get them? She probably wouldn't even listen to her family members, wouldn't listen to her friends, and just wanted to do what she wanted to do. Denise, you need help. You need help. And, you know, I don't know too much about the other dude because all he did is say he finessed you, but you got on social media and told the world. You committed to a, what do they call it, a felonious act? Come on, Denise. Not we, but you got to do better. Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the lady's talking about?